MS Duncan and an RAF Typhoon successfully tracked and eliminated an aerial threat during counter-drone training in the Mediterranean. The Type 45 destroyer worked with a Typhoon FGR-4 from RAF Akrotiri in Cyprus for the exercise which looked to see how both services can develop tactics and procedures against airborne threats. Duncan is one of six Daring-class destroyers who are the Royal Navy's experts in air defense and exercise Aphrodite Trident, held south of Cyprus, tested the ship against uncrewed aerial systems. While Duncan and the Typhoon joined forces in the Med, the exercise saw the RAF's 83 Expeditionary Air Group hold strategic oversight and monitor its progress via satellite in a Combined Air Operations Center (COC). The exercise aimed to prepare and develop plans for defending any potential threat to UK sovereign bases. HMS Duncan's Wildcat helicopter took to the skies, simulating an enemy drone in attack mode, flying a pattern directly towards RAF Akrotiri. After receiving an alert from the CAOC that the base was under imminent threat of attack, the RAF Typhoon detachment based in Cyprus sprang into action. The Typhoon fighter jet scrambled to rendezvous with HMS Duncan, operating under the tactical guidance of one of the ship's fighter controllers, affectionately known as Freddy's. These RN warfare officers specialize in overseeing fast jet missions, ensuring they achieve their objectives from a safe distance, far away from vulnerable units or areas. Using her Samson radar, the spinning dome on top of her main mast, HMS Duncan was able to track the low-flying drone as it sped towards its intended target and, after establishing a data link with the Typhoon, could transmit her radar's target track to the jet's onboard sensors. The ability to transmit radar data allowed the jet to navigate onto the target and eliminate the threat well before it could reach its intended target. Lieutenant Johnny Miller, a flight controller on HMS Duncan, said, It is a very satisfying feeling to see the hours of preparation and planning that go into an exercise like this come to fruition, especially one as relevant and in tune with the real-life threat as Aphrodite tried it. This exercise has proven that we can defend ourselves, our colleagues, and our allies from attack. It really shows why what we do matters. RAF Typhoon Detachment Commander Wing Commander Morris added, a Typhoon pilot on a scramble has to deal with many dynamic tasks in a very short period of time. HMS Duncan's capabilities provide us the ability to quickly meld voice comms with a digital picture in the cockpit thus reducing the time to identify and engage targets whilst maximizing distance from the defended asset. This was a great opportunity to work with HMS Duncan and prove the voice and data communications for potential scenarios in the Eastern Mediterranean.